All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here. And guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Prox Lock. So, if you guys missed out during our last episode, we went and conquered out the Vermilion City Gym. Now, uh, from what I did do some research, is that there's actually, uh, I believe, five different gyms in total uh, for what we actually do and head on into Kanto because uh, we can actually go and head into the Vermilion City one, the Fuchsia one, the Cerulean one, or even head into the Saffron one, or um, or even the uh, Vermilion city one um but instead we actually went and head into the vermilion city one uh just because since it was just right up and close for where we needed to go and also it was literally the part where they literally dropped us off right into kanto uh we went and actually taken care of lieutenant surge got our thunder badge and now it's onwards to go and claim our uh stimulation uh to see what is going to be happening uh for the next gym that's gonna be happening afterwards now there is going to be a twitter poll uh because i know that this is a post recording so you guys uh will be seeing this video a little bit later uh but but after once I actually get the um, the video for the uh, for the Lieutenant Surge battle already finished and already posted onto the channel, I will do a Twitter poll right on after that. And all you guys have to do is just go and uh, click on which type of gym that you guys want me to go and do next, and we'll put that stipulation with that gym that will come uh, during the time of when we actually go and head to whatever gym that you guys feel like choosing. Now, also too, you can guys uh, can also let me know in the comments as well too. And uh, without further ado, uh, the old school spinning wheel is back once more uh everything is all fresh so again any type of thing that we get to choose here is literally going to be something new for kanto so hopefully we can land on return of pokemon but if not if we do land on this next pokemon as well too that's all right but we'll just have to see what is going to happen here so let's go and spin and hopefully we can land on ourselves a return of pokemon maybe Oh, it actually is. It is going to be returning a Pokemon. So we are allowed to be bringing back Kilowatt, which that is actually one Pokemon that I do want to do. Now, just want to let you guys know that since we already landed on this already, uh, for, for uh, basically for right now here in Kanto, we cannot go and choose this anymore. Uh, so unfortunately, it's just only a one freebie shot to return a Pokemon back onto our squad. So Kilowatt is going to be the guy that is going to be coming back onto our team. So that is going to be awesome. I'll see you guys when we actually head back into Pokemon Heart Gold. And actually do some exploration over at Fuchsia City because that is our next place to go and do some exploring and see if we can find any other type of neat little encounters as well uh, to uh, head on it over to. So I'll see you guys in just in a little bit here. All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Prox Lock. So, if you guys missed out during our last episode, basically what happened here is, guys, is that we went and taking care of the Vermilion City Gym, uh, but also as well, too, uh, if you guys did miss out on the uh, beginning part of this video, and you guys don't want to see what the stipulation is, I'll go and tell you guys what it was. So, basically what happened here is, guys, is that we went and uh, basically landed on uh, return next Pokemon, or, or basically return a pokemon on our team sorry uh that was what the stimulation name is known as return a pokemon and we actually did bring back kilowatt back on the team i did go and add back the uh, life orb on the kilowatt so now we can finally say that kilowatt is finally here in kanto even though that unfortunately we did get kilowatt uh basically knocked out during our time in the pokemon league and that save goes for helen as well too we did lose two pokemon in the process but at least we've got back one pokemon onto our team and i did go and put uh bolton back but we actually do still have tunic on on our team still so not to worry about that um but anyways uh for this episode for today we are going to be uh, doing a little bit of some exploration over at where fuchsia city is going to be um i'm just going to just probably head on over to i think to the far left uh side of where fuchsia city is going to be hopefully they can actually be open to us i'm not really too entirely certain if it is or not uh, but i would like to do some battles over there as well too say with a other encounter if i'm not mistaken because i believe there should be a patch of grass and also a uh hidden cut tree area where you could actually go and apparently uh, well, well basically get yourself the hr for fly back in the day in the old school gen one but i wouldn't mind seeing what else we could go and find uh over there as well too but we'll worry about that later once we start heading on over to fuchsia because we got ourselves a little bit of a team recap to go with so let's go and see how everybody is doing here so we got ourselves devon at level 47 does have the odd incense still on we actually do have main arise which i do love that move so much for porygon z very 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 helpful move uh for when it comes to like any of those ground type pokemon and uh, we also do have recover psychic and also nasty plot we also do have 
Red Field at level 44 with the Mystic Water on. Does have Metal Claw Fly Surf and also Sword Stance. We also do have SSBL at level 47 with the Dragon Fang on. Does have uh, Sword Stance, Dragon Pulse, Close Combat, and also Aura Sphere. We also do have Morrison, of course, at level 43 with Mocha Fly, Blaze Kick, and also Double Kick. We also do have Tunic as well, holding out with the EXP share on because I did give that over to him because I know that we have to train up with Tunic pretty quickly. We also do have uh, Poison Sting, Mega Drain, Magical Leaf, and also Sweet Set. And we also do have Kilowatt at level 41 with the Life Orb on. Does have Headbutt, Strength, Discharge, and also Low Kick. So yeah, also to uh, hopefully uh, maybe within uh, these, uh, well, hopefully within the next few episodes or so, uh, hopefully I do have enough time uh, to do a little bit of some grinding under the, uh, uh, underway, and hopefully I can try and boost up my Pokemon a little bit more, because uh, I did do uh, a little bit of some checking just to see how good uh, Sabrina's Pokemon were, and I believe there, I believe she actually does have level 50 Pokemon as well. Uh, Janine actually does not have level 50 Pokemon, I believe she actually does have level 40s, so that's actually pretty nice, so I, at least I don't have to go and worry about that right now but i think let's actually just go and do a little bit of a quick fly and head on over to where lavender town is because we don't really have to go and worry about that right away so let's just go and do that very quickly i know that unfortunately we can't really go and head on over to pewter city right away because we actually have to go and take care of the whole stuff over with uh, cerulean city and try to open up the uh the power uh, on over at the over at the power plant so that'll be something that we will be taking care about with that a little bit later on but not for right now but here we are. We're back over on Route 12. Oh man, I remember doing a whole bunch of battles here, if you guys remember, during the last few episodes or so, just around in this little vicinity. But it was a great area, because we actually were able to go and battle on quite a bit of other trainers that were around here. But we also got ourselves another... Oh, okay, I thought this was another person that I could go about with, but I think I already went and taken care of him already. So that's already good enough, so I'm happy about that. Yep, yeah, already went and take care of that guy, but also too, the one good thing that we can go and do is actually, uh, no, not take care of that right away, because I will come back and grab out that item uh, once I actually do have Helen on, probably off recording when I start doing some training up, but there should be another area which that should be able to show us where Route 11 is, and I think I just have to head down, I think a little bit further. Uh, because that is where we kind of missed out on our encounter, so I do want to go and grab that very quickly. Um, okay, no, so this is not where we need to be, so I have to go ahead up just a little bit further back. I always have, like, a hard time trying to find out where, where this little place is. It's not, like, too hard to find, but I think I just have to go ahead up, I think, just up here, and I think there should be a route just up and around in this way. Yep, here we go. So let's see what we can go and find here in this route, because I know that I totally missed out on our encounter from the, uh, last time when we were here, so let's see what we can find. Hopefully it's gonna be something good. Oh, man. Uh, is it gonna be a legendary? No, it's actually gonna be Pear, the, uh, the Weeping Bell out here. Okay. I don't mind having Pear. Uh, I know that, uh, if you guys remember, Pear used to be a very good Pokemon, I think, uh, on our team before. I think in our, uh, I wanna say Yellow Extreme Randomizer, back when, uh, when I changed up, like, all the different moves and abilities and everything, Pear was actually a really awesome good Pokemon on our team, uh, for that Extreme Randomizer, so... Not a bad backup Pokemon for Tunic, so we'll just go and make sure to capture this right away. And I don't think Weavabell really should be that hard of a Pokemon to get captured that much. But there we go. With our Quick Ball, we were able to capture out Weavabell very quickly. Nice. And also, too, guys, uh, right on after this video, once this video is done and finished with you guys, we'll be seeing, I want to say, a Skyward Sword as well, too. Uh, I actually do have a lot of things planned for Skyward Swords because there is a lot of side questing things uh, to go on uh, with that episode for today. Because we actually have to go and grab ourselves the, uh, I want to say, the Goddess Shield, uh, which I do want to get the full, complete set of that shield to get it all finished and done with. We also do have another Silent Realm to actually go and take care of for us to get ourselves the Double Claw Shot, which that is going to be very nice nice for the goddess cues that we are missing uh throughout the different other areas uh from i think like from Le from the linario desert and also from the pharaoh woods so we're still missing i think one or two of the different goddess cues of each of those different places now i think there's also a bomb mini game i think as well too from one of the gorons uh over at linario desert once we actually have the double claw shot so that's actually another thing that i kind of want to go and get finished as well too but uh, we'll just have to wait and see what that is going to basically entail once I actually go and head on into that actual place. Now, we actually do have this double battle up here, so let's go and take care of these guys while we're uh, making our way on over to where Fuchsia City is. Now, I kind of have to say, I, I, I kind of like the uh, the design of Fuchsia City, like, here for Heart Glow and Soul Silver, because I kind of like, like, the, 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 the little purple uh, type of stuff that goes on and around in, in, in Fuchsia. But we also got ourselves a Golem and also a Stantler, so this is not good. Um, now I could actually go us out for a surf, 
but I could probably just go and do something like this. I'm gonna go for a main and rise. I'm gonna set that up on Devon. I'm gonna go for a, I wanna say maybe a fly, I wanna say probably on the Stantler and we'll see what we can do from here. So let's go set for a main and rise here. Okay, ooh, calm mine. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Okay. I'm gonna set up for a psychic and I'm gonna set that up onto Golem just so that we don't really have to see uh, him try to basically set up a self destruct or anything. But unfortunately, it seems like Golem is still alive. Set up for another one. Okay, does have Rock Blast. Ouch. Okay, uh, that is not very nice. I'm gonna go for a psychic there. And I think what I'm gonna do is just go and set up for a hyper and go onto that with Deb in there. And let's see, can we be able to just go and knock out that golem? Nice. Okay, so that's finished and done with, but we still got this Stantler going to become a problem. Does have Zed Headbutt though. Okay, at least it didn't do too much. Going to go for a Psychic there, and I think I'm going to go for a Metal Claw, I think. I don't know if it's, that's going to do a lot of damage, but it should be able to just go and knock it out. No problem. There we go. Oh, well, at least it wasn't like that other Double Battle fight that I had to go and do. Uh, I think, what was it? Um, I think... I think that was actually off recording, which you guys did not get to see. Um, but the double battle that was actually on Route 12, um, that uh, those uh, two trainers actually did have a Alakazam and also another Pokemon that was really freaking annoying. The Alakazam just kept on psychicing me like quite a bit, and I just did not like that. But at least we actually got ourselves another phone number person. So if we ever do land on that stimulation, we could go and talk back right on over to them if we wanted to. Uh, but I think there's actually quite a few other trainers that I did miss here during this time and we actually do have this trainer of course got ourselves another one of these picnickers or campers that are going to be here so let's go and battle out who this is going to be it's going to be a camper so it is going to have a core fish here not a problem one good psychic should go and do the trick so that is enough said than done defeat a camper tra a tainer and let's go and keep on moving all right so how about we stage phone numbers oh my goodness all you guys want me to have your phone numbers that's not going to happen uh, Okay, now what about if I head up? I think I have to go around the bend here. Not to worry. I could just go and take a little bit of a little bit of a detour and just go about the rest of these guys. So we also got this trainer as well. I know that we missed him during our time, but let's go for it. Alright, so it does have a Luxio. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Very easy win right there. Wow, only like level 29s. Alright, also got ourselves tunic up to level 22 with Sableyes coming out. Now, save lights are always kind of annoying, so I'm just going to go and switch out into uh, more. Let's see what we got from here. Alright, one good blaze kick. Oh, come on, man. I said one good blaze kick. Oh, and of course, the save light goes for a detect. And it goes for another detect. How many times are you going to go for a detect already? Oh my god, we got a whooper that's at level 65. Jeez. What a big turnaround on that. Ugh, okay. Well, that was a little bit weird. Well, at least I don't have to use a fire type. Move! Ouch! 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 Okay. That is a little bit too crazy on my part there. I think I'm going to kind of risk it for another fly because I think I'm able to do that, right? Okay, so we're going to miss out on that. Nice. All right, go for a fly. Knock out that whooper as quickly as possible. Jeez. Had to risk it for the biscuit on that one. <laughs> I was just going to see if I could kind of play that a little bit kind of risky, but at least we did it. Okay, got this Sableye to worry about, so let's go and switch on around. I could bring out Kilowatt for this, because, again, we haven't really used Kilowatt for quite some time. So let's go and do it. Not going to be too hard of a Pokemon to get destroyed out here, but there we go. Sableye's finished and done with. Use a little bit of our uh, life orb here for that battle, and there we go. Knocked out this other uh, trainer here for the time being, and nice. Got ourselves $4,000 Poke dollars. I wish that could literally happen over at Johto, man. I wish we were able to get a whole bunch of cash for that. But unfortunately, that just did not happen. Okay, so we actually went and knocked out her as well, too. So that actually kind of takes care of quite a bit of everything here. I don't know if there's actually one more trainer that we did miss, but we'll make sure to go and do it. Oh, I think it's this trainer, I think. Nope. Okay. So we already taken care of him as well. What about the hiker? Did I ever do anything with him? Okay, we already finished out here as well, too. But hey, here we go. Got ourselves Route 14. Uh, now, I guess we haven't really went and taken care of any of the traders that are down this way. So we'll go and make sure to bail out some of these guys as well while we're making our way down here. So let's go and do it. All right, let's see what is going to be happening with this bird keeper. Bird keeper Josh shows up for a skitty. That's not going to even be a problem at all. Very easy win. Nice. Okay, so not too shabby at all. Okay, sweet. 
It just kind of sucks that unfortunately with our Super Paper Mario uh, live stream, or, well sorry, not live stream, but our solo uh, Let's Play series that's going on is coming to a very uh, sad end. Uh, we're almost about to get finished and done with, with Chapter 7 pretty soon, and then uh, later on, oh, hey, there's another Suicune out here. What the heck? We spawned him out again. I thought we weren't going to be seeing you until Cerulea City. All right, well, I guess uh, he's already off once more, but I don't know if uh, Iwazine is going to probably fight us here. So, Prostar, again, I'll be the first next time. I haven't followed it here, I've started to understand what a Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I want to be an honest trainer and in front of Suicune, but that's why I've shared a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near the water, somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet, but I'll just but it will just be you and me, so who will find it first? I will challenge you. Okay, so I guess he's going to challenge us to a battle? Okay, well, I better be able to uh, get ourselves fully prepared for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up for a hyper... Uh, let's go and do that on Morrison as quickly as possible because we do not want to uh, be uh, in that in that dangerous zone with Morrison there. But uh, what's wrong, Prox? To be honest, I would like to keep uh, this information to myself, but I want to be honest for a week that's why I shared a clue with you. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So are you going to bow me or not, man? Okay, so I guess he is not going to bow me. Fine, then. I will uh, go and keep on hanging down here, then. Uh, wow, so I just literally just set up a hyper potion for no reason, and this man just didn't want to challenge me yet. I guess we have to wait until probably Cerulean City then. Alright, so one good second to the face. Suicune, uh, I mean, sorry, not Suicune. Weezing is actually down and out. Eh. Man, I got Suicune on the brain already. Alright, and oh god, we also got ourselves a Lugia. Well, that is just freaking annoying. Um, I don't know if I can be able to knock out with Kilowatt with that, but I guess we'll try it out. Maybe a Discharge. Now, I don't know if this Lugia already has Aero Blast already, but that would be a little bit scary does actually have Hydro Pump. Ouch. Now, at least I didn't do too much damage, but hey, at least uh, we were able to make it paralyzed, so our Discharge should be able to go and hook up the Luga as quickly as possible, but man, that would be a little bit too scary <laughs> if that uh, Lugia did not get paralyzed, I don't think. Uh, we also do have a Chaos God coming out, so let's go and switch on out. We'll go right into our dude SSBL, and let's go and set up for a nice good Aura Sphere and knock him out. Nice. That is how we get it done. All right, Tunic is just getting up all the levels right now. Like, we're getting like 700, 800 EXP. It's doing really great here. Okay, so what about here? We got ourselves uh, Route 15. Now, I think up here, there's also another route, as, or well, some more grass up here. So, oh goodness. Uh, I don't know if I should really worry about that yet. Uh, maybe I'll come back to that encounter a little bit later. <laughs> My lord, that is way too many traders up ahead just for just only a little smidget of, like, grass up there. Okay. Oh, well, there's a character. You can have uh, Noctis back on the team as well, too. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but let's see. Can I go ahead and try and capture this out as quickly as possible? I don't know how I would say the character is going to be to get captured out here. I know it's a fully evolved Pokemon, so I don't think a quick ball will probably work. But 1-2 Game Boy Luke, maybe? Can it work? Oh, yeah, of course. That phrase will always work every time. It doesn't matter if it's just a legendary Pokemon as well, too. I think that will probably also work as well. <laughs> but hey, we got ourselves a Cactur. Grass and Dart type. I don't mind it. I've also used uh, Noctis before, again, in uh, one of our uh, Nuzlocke series before. So, always fun to have this Pokemon around. I hardly, I don't think I hardly ever got to use all of that too much. But, but when I did, it would just be used for, I think, a super effective Pokemon. Nothing else uh, too much out of the ordinary. Uh, but there we go. Noctis, you are going to be set into the PC, my good sir. Alright, so that taken care of that, but... Oh my goodness, there is just so many cut trees to worry about, but not to worry. I don't need to worry about having Golem on the team. I can just go and kind of cheese my way throughout all the other different areas that are here. I'm just going to watch out for most of these guys around. Now, oh my goodness, there's so many other different, like, jumps and stuff to go and worry about, but I guess we'll worry about battling out this trainer before. We go ahead and head on over to Fuchsia. Oh my goodness, it's a Milotic. Okay, uh, well, I think I should just go and just start setting up for some Psychics, I guess. <laughs> Does have Safeguard, though. I'll make sure to get, ooh, nice, we actually missed out on that, and that last Psychic basically knocks out the Milotic, so let's get ourselves up to that level 48 now. Which that is very nice. Getting almost close to where level 50 is. Alright, not too shabby. And also Tunic's at level 25. So, hope we can get some nice good moves coming out for Tunic soon. Well, let's keep on heading on forward. 
Oh god, a double battle. No. Ugh, come on. No, I didn't want to have to battle out you too. Oh, fine. It was kind of like, it's kind of like just do a single battle or go and do a double battle. Well, I guess the better way is for me is just go and uh, just take care of, uh, of just a single battle, not the double battle here. Does actually have Earthquake. Ouch. Okay, I do not like that at all. One bit. That's actually really annoying. Okay, I have to go switch on out here. Does actually have Aqua Tail. I'm going to go and uh, set up for a fly. Ha. Ah, ooh, wow. Go for a future site. Okay. Uh, have to go out for one more. Hopefully we can uh, survive this here. Nice. We actually missed the uh, future site attack, so I'll take that. I had to kind of go fast forward through that just a little bit. Because I didn't want that Barbos to become too much of an issue. Uh, Shroomish, that should be also fine too. Because we can just go for another fly. And knock out this as... Knock out this Shroomish as quickly as possible. And hopefully get ourselves up to another level as well. Uh, not even close. Come on. What is going on here? Uh, are we almost done, man? How many other jumps do I have to go and worry about here? Oh, we got ourselves a Salak Berry. Another berry that I have no idea what that's about. But again, I am the berry collector once and for all. <laughs> But hey, we finally made it through, and here we go. Fuchsia City is finally here. I really have to say, I, I really do kind of like this, like, maroon or type of purplish type of thing that's going on around here. Very cool. Like, like, like they really put in a lot of stuff here for Fuchsia City to make it look, like, absolutely vibrant. Which I do have to say, it looks really nice. But, I guess uh, what we'll do is just kind of just check around here in this area and uh, kind of see what else I can do. Uh, now, there is an encounter that we can go and grab. That's over here at Route 18, of course. And also, uh, there is that hidden um, hidden roadway up here. But, unfortunately, I can't even go and do that. Hey, you. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't go and do that now. Huh. I guess that hidden house is probably not up here anymore. Because, normally, I thought it would be somewhere around in this vicinity. And that's where you would normally get uh, get fly for. But I'm going to go and not even worry about battling out these guys for right now. Because I just want to go and grab out our encounter and then end off this episode out here for today while we're inside uh, Fuchsia. Hey, hey! Oh my goodness, it's a pseudo Wudo as well too. We got ourselves Woody back as well. Uh, oh my god, we're bringing back so many of our classic uh, uh, Nuzlocke uh, Well, yeah, basically our Nuzlocke uh, partners from before. Because we actually did have a pseudo Wudo back when our assorted and... Uh, shield nuzlocke that we did have so very awesome right there but unfortunately the pseudo wudo is going to become freaking annoying uh unfortunately i don't know how i'm going to be able to go and take care of this i may probably have to oh no i'm blocked in uh, this is just freaking great and also too i can't even like use anything so <laughs> thank god <laughs> Thank God I was able to catch a Suda Wudo as quickly as possible because, like, there was just no way that I could actually be able to go, go in it, into attack mode because I don't even have any more psychic moves on, uh, on me. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, Woody is back as well, too. Sweet. Uh, well, I guess we're just gonna have it as an I instead of a Y. <laughs> I don't know. Eh. There we go. Alright, so we're finished and done with that. Oh no, and we're not done just yet, because this trainer is going to want us to battle as well too. Fine. You asked for it. We're going to bring out Redfield. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves that level up. Fly. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's set up for that fly. And that yeah, Mega, or sorry, not yeah, Mega, but yeah, Ma should actually be able to go down pretty fast. Oh, really? Okay, let's have another wing attack. Metal Claw. There we go. <laughs> Got ourselves our attack boost as well. Nice. But, anyways, we were able to go and knock out that Bird Keeper as fast as possible. And we got ourselves up to level 45, so I'll take that. And also, Tunic is getting up to another level up as well, so that is fine. Awesome. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do there. Uh, well, not really. I didn't really want to have to go and battle out you. But, I guess we're just going to go and end it off here for today, guys. In the next one, uh, basically what is going to happen here is, I think we will actually be able to do the Twitter poll, I think. Uh, for uh, Because I know that since this is, basically, again, this is a post-recording. So, I'm pretty certain I'm going to go and leave the Twitter poll for you guys. And uh, you guys could go and let me know on what one, uh, what type of gym that you guys want me to go and do. Do you guys want me to do Fuchsia here? Or do you guys want me to go and do Saffron or Celadon? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And, peace.